All right, YouTube, just uh, off on a little one night camp up into the beautiful lands of Scotland, my homeland. Uh, off on the bikes, my friend Tom. Hi, Tom. Right. Um, yeah, just a luggage strapped up on my old scrap heap challenge. This thing is falling to pieces. Anyway, off to Scotland. I'll. Uh, I'll uh, add more later. Here we are in lovely Langham, the Muckle Toon. Don't forget, kids, a day away through the toon is a day wasted. Hi, just on the, the next journey, going off up over those hills over there. It's going to be good. Catch you later. All right, this is us getting here. We're in the woods in Estale Muir. In the piney woods priority one was get rid of the midges so I've started a little fire just in the wind drawing the nice pine smoke down past where we're gonna be camping started it with some fat wood started it instantly <laughs> and uh, yeah we're just gonna get set up I've got the uh, the big 120 litre military bergen um, got this packed up full to the gunnels ready to go and uh, I'll report back later on once we've got set up alright got the hammock set up now just sitting having a little relax Tom's bought himself a a bloody camping chair, <laughs> lap of luxury, yeah. There's me sitting on the floor. <laughs> a good fire going. <laughs> You're a lazy bastard. It's burning a well, burning away nicely. Tom's got his hammock set up. Tenth Wonder XL, I think, XL, Compact yeah. XL or something or other. It's not the compact version. And there's my uh, Super XL. I've not got the tarps up yet because. Don't know whether you can tell, but it's a beautiful blue sky, which is odd for Scotland. Hello YouTube. Just thought I'd uh, show you this blazing fire. It's starting to get dark now. I think the temperature's dropped to maybe about 10, 12 degrees. That's just a rough guess. I'm not cold and I'm only wearing a jumper, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether you can see my hammock. No, you can't. Oh well. I have not put my tarp up yet. I'm not going to bother, I don't think. Maybe when it gets real cold later on, but it's just not a cloud in the sky at the moment. Yep. Been uh, chopping up this log. Big old log here. Massive tree that's fallen down. It's not exactly massive, I don't know what I'm talking about probably the rum but uh, using my new machete I don't know whether you can see probably not again nice kukri style blade it's got a good bite into the tree bites the log nicely lovely job good morning good morning it's been a bit of a cold night, but it's been a good night. I had a good sleep. I didn't bother ever putting my tarp fully over my hammock last night. I just slept under the stars. Just had it up partially for a bit of a wind deflection, but never needed it for the rain. I think Tom ended up putting his up at some point, but I think it was cold. Sort of fire going. Just get some blooming heat into us. I've got my alcohol stove, trustedly boiling away, getting me some water boiling for coffee, coffee in the morning. Oh, I have donned the poncho. It's uh, made out of a really old, old school wool blanket and it is a nice warm thing to wear in the morning when you're cold and wandering around. But uh, this is the view I had 
oh, this morning getting up and walking just to the edge of the woodland I don't know whether you can get a decent view of that it's not the greatest of light all right and this is me me woodland it's a mixed woodland there's a kind of birch section that way and then this is all the pine section we were in the pine last night right i uh just wanted to show you the main reason i was not cold last night this is my sleeping bag um it's a 500 gsm uh, 500 grams per square meter i'm guessing that is uh synthetic sleeping bag it's um it's really really large it you know it takes up a good 10 percent of my uh 120 liter pack it, it, it takes the whole bottom section of the bag but i don't mind taking all that weight because it's worth it for staying warm i think it maybe got down to about maybe like five or six degrees c last night <clears throat> we are in estill muir and it's uh, one of the only places in Britain with a recorded frost every month of the year and that happens quite regularly so it's worth packing the warmth. I don't know whether you can truly tell the uh, the thickness of this sleeping bag but I, uh, it's a mummy sleeping bag but I use it as a kind of top quilt with this the hood over my face and just keeps me so warm. I mean you can probably tell the thickness of it just when you start to roll it i mean i know i'm not putting much effort into it but it's a big sausage when it's packed up and nextly my homemade diy underquilt now this is just a 300 gsm envelope style sleeping bag and uh, i know it's got a gap there but when my feet are in the bottom of there it it closes up quite nicely <clears throat> but uh, it's not good enough I mean it keeps you warm to a certain extent and then past that you get a good cold back so I'm going to start making down under quilts I've just gathered probably be about two kilos of down and uh, feather down and feather mix I think it's about 80% down 20% feathers and I'm going to be buying um, quite a few metres of uh, substance substance fabric called Skylon. It's a uh, downproof, water resistant, windproof but breathable, however they manage that. And uh, really lightweight. So I'm going to start stitching. I've got my sewing machine in the shop getting fixed up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start building proper baffle walled down under quilts uh, three season probably down to about minus five degrees and uh, yeah I should have over the next few months a good project on my hands but at the end of it I hope to have a good maybe ten under quilts and I will be selling them so once I've built one and done some videos on testing it out and things I will uh, probably set up some way of selling them maybe through eBay or something so you guys can all see them on the, the YouTube channel and then tell me what you think about them tell me if you think they need improving any and if you're interested they'll be there there we go wrapped it up like I said massive big black sausage